I used to be a pitcher in high school. Well, no, middle school. I had a, I had a very proper technique, but I don't know if I still have it. Welcome to Bait Life TV, my name is Noah, and today we're going to be testing these new products from Paintline. This system is designed for spraying your cabinet doors, and specifically, we're going to be checking out these hinge hooks that they recently released. Now, these actually clamp inside the holes in your hinges, hinge holes. And the advantage here is that you're able to put this on the PSDR system where you have full control over the spin. But the way that we normally do it is that we'll normally put in some cup hooks into the side of the doors. We'll drill in, put those inside, and then we have this very secure system for hanging the doors. Now that's what we generally do, and we have a video specifically on why that works, and this isn't really a problem, but hey, you screw, screwing holes in perfectly good cabinets, I get it. What we're testing today is exactly how strong this clamp is and it's actually really important because when you think about it if you were to lose this in the process of spraying your cabinets you'd be in rough shape you're probably going to end up buying a new cabinet which is exactly what you want on any cabinet job that you're doing so i'm going to be using this very scientific and uh, very precise technique of throwing a ball at it and seeing what happens See, when I hit it on the side like that, it applies quite a bit of force to just one side. Like, if anything was going to yank it out, it'd be something like that. That was straight on. So, one of the things we got, we recently posted a video similar to this where I'm just slapping one of these hangers around. We posted that on Instagram, and one of the things that people commented was, what happens if you make those hooks actually sharp? And for one thing, they actually are sharp already, and they do a, that's a big reason why it actually is doing a good job. But I'm gonna try to do a before and after with a little bit of science and a little bit of modding to see if we get any different results. Uh, I was throwing the ball hard before, but I'm really gonna see if I can break a window or something with this. If nothing else, I'm wearing it down, you know? Each hit has to be doing something. You're not gonna tell fire down. Wow. To be fair, if we got Muscle Man Chris over here, he could probably, he could probably knock it down in one, but I'm doing my best. It's like a carnival game. This poor door. It's impossible to know exactly how hard I hit that thing, but I'm gonna take it inside, I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to sharpen the edges on those hooks, and then I'm gonna take it back out here to see if there's any significant difference, if we can actually get it to stick into the sides of those hinge holes. So just by moving this thing around, I'm already feeling a big, difference and it's not it's not good all right let's uh, start with around the same force that I was going with before dang it's, even holding it well. it's hardly yeah okay I did better that time. Because you put this up and you didn't do the stretchy thing where you tried to get it to actually puncture the sides. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh. So maybe I'm just bad at putting this on is what you're saying. Um, all I gotta say is, I'm, uh, sorry about your cabinet, Chris. 
Uh, I mean, this was inevitable, I suppose. And this is precisely why you you want your cup hooks to be this sturdy. So um, I'd highly recommend not throwing balls at them, or especially throwing balls at the hanger itself. Well, say again? That wraps it out. I think that wraps it out. Um, <laughs> So after sharpening this and testing it out, I have two theories as to why these come exactly the way they do. Number one, you probably don't want razor sharp tools in the bag that you're just reaching out trying to get. Um, kind of safety hazard, I'd say. Uh, but second of all, the reason on certain ones it really seemed like this didn't have nearly as much hold is what we theorize is probably a lack of surface area to create the amount of friction that you want. So in my opinion, the way these come is actually the exact level of sharpness that you want for the most secure hold. So there you have it. We've been testing out these EFC hooks. Now the question is, would I actually use them myself? You know what? I'm really comfortable after all the years painting. I've been painting for 18 years now. I've been painting cabinets for almost as long. I've been drilling holes and screwing these one inch cup hooks inside these doors for probably about six years now. I've never had any complaints. I'm comfortable with this method. I'm a lot more comfortable with how, how they hang and actually secure. I've never had a door fall off with these type of hooks right here. Here's the EFC hooks. We've been throwing, messing around, all joking aside, they have been performing a lot better than I ever expected. But if you really don't want to drill holes in your cabinet doors, you're just against it, this is an option, the EFC hook. Now let's put it to the real test. <laughs>